what does it look like to live in a world that offers you its imagination? Good morning. My name is Father Frank Buckley. Delighted to be your host for our morning meditation group, Flourishing During Times of Uncertainty. Happy Friday. Today is going to be a great day. Thank you all for tuning in to this three-part program. We begin with a little inspiration. Today, it's Friday. We're getting ready for the weekend. I thought we would do something a little different and start with a beautiful poem by Mary Oliver that I have not seen in years, but I'm getting ready to do a weekend workshop uh, on dreams. And this was one of the poems recommended to start the uh, workshop. So I hope you enjoy it. It's one of my favorites. And of course, who doesn't love Mary Oliver? After we have a little inspiration, we enter the world of imagination. We enter our inner sanctuary. We drop down. We enjoy a little deep rest and give God the first 20 minutes of our morning. The kingdom of God is within. If we don't are not intentional, but intentional about turning the gaze inwards, I fear sometimes we can miss the kingdom altogether. And then, of course, the last part of the program will be uh, the Ignatian Examine. And on Fridays, I like to just look over the whole week and notice where God showed up in beautiful and safe ways. So without further ado, let's get started uh, with a poem by Mary Oliver. The poem is titled, Wild Geese. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese high in the clean blue air are headed home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination. Calls to you like the wild geese. Harsh and exciting. Over and over announcing your place in the family of things. Amen. Thank you, Mary Oliver. The world offers us its imagination. So I invite you to relax, take your shoes off. I'm going to lower the lights. You can either place the soles of the feet on the floor or sit in a cross-legged seated position. This morning we will do a very Zen meditation and all we really have to do for this is simply return to stillness. One thing is helpful is the mind that thinks and thinks and thinks is just to turn 
your sensation, turn your hearing, turn your noticing to the traffic or external sounds or the sensations of the body. Let's begin. I invite you to unplug. I will set the timer for 20 minutes. I'll ring the bell to begin and ring the bell to end. So just simply lower the eyes, turn the gaze inwards, and let's start.
gently bring your attention back to the room. Wonderful job, everyone. We did it. It's Friday. Let's move to the Jesuit examine. Please feel free to drop anything in the comment box. If you're new, introduce yourself. Uh, you've just joined what I believe to be the best contemplative community in Hollywood. And also feel free for those who've been, uh, who are part of the community to just share with us where God kind of showed up for you this week. Um, as I was reflecting on this, uh, a few things, uh, places, spaces I noticed, um, <coughs> no surprise to any of you, I really love the flourishing and recovery for people living on the streets on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11. And it's been just an amazing, uh, really amazing little community that's sprouted up on the patio. And we wear masks and we do physical distancing. And one of the great gifts of renovating this place at the center has been it's a beautiful patio with olive trees and birds chirping in the bushes and uh, soft colors. And it's, yeah, it's a beautiful space. And one of the, one of the, one of the best little surprises of the pandemic was moving the flourishing recovery group to the patio and uh, having this little community sprout uh, in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, second, uh, <coughs> sorry, one thing I shared with you uh, at the beginning um, was uh, that on, on Fridays, sorry, that's the third thing. The other thing I shared was um, this idea of doing this dream workshop that's coming up this weekend. And on my eight day retreat with uh, Father Paul Fitterer, he made the mistake of asking me or inviting me if I had any dreams to bring them to spiritual direction. And ever since then, I've been dreaming like a banshee. And um, I do agree with Jung that dreams are the royal road to the unconscious and that doing this opportunity for this workshop and even being more cognizant and aware of my own dreams has made my spiritual life much richer. And then finally, uh, just by accident, I kind of at the last minute came up with the Mary Oliver poem, Wild Geese. And I kind of like the idea. Let me know what you think of on Fridays doing something a little different and for our inspiration using different uh, poems to engage us before we enter into the mindfulness. So I'm excited about that. Uh, thank you all for being with us throughout the week. It's been a really beautiful, amazing week and none of us could do this alone. It takes a village. Thank you for joining. Um, have a beautiful weekend and God bless you.